guys, it's Brandy with Spoon and Saucer, and I'm back. Hey, this week I'm showing you how to make salsa verde. It is a recipe on the blog, but I thought I would shoot a little video and show you how it's done. So check it out. So hey. what this entails is um, pretty simple ingredients, and I've got them all here on the counter. These are all going to go into our salsa verde. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put a um, shallot. We're going to make a little mess here. We're going to put a shallot into this um, sauce. Now shallots are nice because they're related to garlic and they have this kind of sweet flavor that's um, really nice with um, sauces. It's kind of fresh and a little bit sweet and it's kind of pretty, you know. It's purple and nice to look at and apparently hard to get the uh, skin off on this one. But um, I love to use these, especially in dressings, um, in a fresh way. And sometimes I'll saute them and put them in eggs or anything like that. So we're just going to use a little shallot here. And I'm just going to cut it up just a tiny little bit, chunk it up in there. And then um, we're also going to put some garlic. I'm going to put one more piece in here. Now shallots also come in all kinds of different sizes. And they have these bulbs which kind of stick together. They look kind of, I don't know, kind of remind me of an onion a little bit because they are, I believe, in the alien, is that what it is? Onion family. And so um, they have this papery little skin that takes a while to get off. And so we're gonna put this in our food processor. And then I'm gonna grab some garlic over here behind me. No skin. And we're gonna grab a, um, some garlic. Now this is a giant piece of, I believe this is elephant garlic. So it's kind of freakishly huge and awesome. So we're not gonna use this um, whole thing for the salsa verde. We're gonna only use about probably half of it. And I'm just gonna cut it up here and shove all that down there and throw it here in the food processor. And I be sure to cut off the um, root here at the bottom because that's not delicious. And we're gonna throw it in the food processor. So this is gonna get a little loud, don't be scared. So we're gonna um, put the lid on here and just pulse it for a second. Be loud. And what we want is this, um, I get this short, you know, tight little pieces of shallot and garlic. Now I'm not gonna pulse it up too much because we don't have to get too crazy with it. The other thing I'm going to do with this is um, we're going to put some capers in. So I just have this tiny little spoon and frankly I just use it because it fits inside this tiny little neck. And I put about two-ish spoonfuls here of that. And these are really great because they're almost um, kind of spicy but really briny and salty. So they make for a great sauce. Then I'm going to add some anchovies. I don't freak out. These are just nice and salty. And I like using chopsticks because they're super handy in the kitchen. And we're going to put three uh, anchovies here in our sauce and our salsa verde. Nice salty bite to it. So you can see we're adding a lot of seasoning without adding um, too much salt. The next thing I'm going to do is add this parsley, which I have an herb garden because they're the easiest things to grow. They're basically weeds and they will do whatever you want them to. So we're gonna chop these up kind of roughly. I don't want this big stock just because I don't like it. How about that? So we're gonna put this in our food processor. And I'm just gonna give this a rough chop and I kind of go until about the bottom and I don't, don't need all of that stuff. So I'm just gonna throw it all in here. And then we're going to pulse again one more time. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some olive oil in here. And I have this big giant thing of olive oil because we use a lot of it. And I like olive oil because it's got a nice flavor that's going to go really well with this sauce. And all we're going to do is pulse this up until it kind of makes this paste. So I'm going to, first of all, scrape this down with the hair because I want to get all those good tasty little bits on the outside. Okay? We'll do it. Up. And then I'm going to stream in the olive oil. Perfect. That's all done. 
so now I'm gonna do something awesome, you know, taste it, because I wanna make sure it tastes okay. Perfect, just needs a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And it's got a nice peppery finish to it. Sometimes I'll add pepper, but this um, has a good peppery um, taste to it with the garlic. So, not even. That's kind of it. That's how you make salsa verde. So I'm going to just scrape this into our bowl down here. If I can get the bowl off. Scrape it into our bowl. And this would just go right onto our um, dinner table because it's delicious. Just like that. Now the other thing you can do is add um, a little bit of wine vinegar, if you'd like to do that, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna add just a little bit because this helps it keep its nice flavor. In lieu of that, if you don't have that, cut up a lemon and just kind of toss it in there and it'll have this nice, nice flavor. So um, now every time I make salsa verde, it seems to be different. And so I just kind of experiment with it. So the other thing I'm gonna show you is I just made this steak out on my barbecue outside and I'm going to, I've been letting it rest for about 15 minutes or so. And so I'm going to just cut this nicely because salsa verde goes so beautifully with steak. Um, there's just something about it. It's this nice fresh flavor um, against the steak. So I've done this really um, pretty medium rare because that's, how we like it in our house. And I'm going to just fan it out here, a few of these pieces on our lovely little plate, which is, whoop, the extra hanger on her there. On our plate over here, and then all we do is drizzle it, just like that, with a little salsa verde, right on top. So Easy what'd you that? think? Not so hard, right? Salsa Verde, love that stuff. I forgot to mention, not only can you put this on steak, but try putting it in sandwiches, on potato salad, pasta salad, tuna salad, all kinds of stuff. It's really versatile stuff. So you could make that for dinner tonight, right? Hey, if you feel compelled, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and also go on over to SpoonAndSaucer.com and subscribe to my email newsletter that sends out weekly updates on posts and new videos and all kinds of news. So if you want to stay up to date, that's the best place to do it. Until next time, guys, I am Brandy with SpoonAndSaucer.com, where real food is easier than you think.